Hey guys, today we're gonna to be doing a quick review of this Basin lighting kit. They recently sent this out to me for this review, but in the package here, we get two light bars and lights that you can stick behind your monitor and it will synchronize with whatever gameplay you're going through or whatever movie you're watching. So we're gonna do a quick unboxing of this and then I'll show you how to set it up, how to install the program that comes with this, and then I'll show you my final results with this product. All right, so here is what comes in the box. We get two lighting tubes right here. We have basically all the connectors that we're gonna need. And then this, this is basically just the normal RGB strip. It has an adhesive on the back of it. We're gonna connect this to the back of our monitor. We also have two bases right here for these light bars. They're very heavy, so they will help keep them upright. They're not gonna be falling over. And here, I assume we have some cables. So yeah, we have basically all of the cables to help manage this and help it all kind of be one cohesive light bar. You guys also get this little pamphlet. It gives you all the information you guys need to actually set this up. But I'm gonna go ahead and move into my gaming room and give this a try and start setting it up. So I'm gonna take you guys into the other room. Alrighty guys, so for these little light bars, what you're gonna do, they have two little notches right there. You're just gonna stick them in here and try and balance this. It's a little harder to do on camera, but then they give you a screw and you just screw this in. All right, so once it's flush and it's pretty tight, you don't wanna overdo it. All you guys have to do is flip this down and now your little light bar has a little stand. So I'm gonna do this to the other side real fast. All right guys, so this one has a longer cable, so I'm gonna put it on the side further away from the PC. This one's gonna go closer to the PC. So now we're gonna attach this to the actual back of this monitor. All right, so I have my monitor all unconnected. Now we're gonna just clean the back of this and then we're gonna just start adhering this strip to the back and this does fit up to 32 inch size monitors. So I'm gonna start on the side closer to the PC. I'm gonna leave some room for some slack for this cable to go into the actual receiver. So I went ahead and unwinded this just to see how much I actually have, just to kind of come up with some sort of plan. It doesn't have to look perfect because this is gonna be not visible, but I'm gonna just start adhering it to the back of here. So while I adhere this, I will say this is very sticky. So I have pretty uh, good expectations for this. I don't think it's gonna be coming off anytime soon. I'm just gonna slightly bend the wire there on the back. But yeah, this is honestly probably the stickiest 3M tape I've ever used. So we're just putting this around the perimeter. Gonna do another bend right here. All right guys, so this may not look the prettiest, but you're not gonna be able to see the back of this. I think it's still gonna do a really good job at distributing all that light. So the next step is we're gonna connect all of these RGBs to these connectors right here and give this some power and download the application and we'll see how it looks. All right, so first up, we're gonna plug in this power connector. It is powered by USB right here. And you guys do get this controller right here with some adhesive strips on the back so you guys can mount this wherever you want. While it's still unplugged, I'm gonna start plugging in all of these. So this one has a red piece of tape on it. I'm gonna connect that to this one that also has a red piece of tape. So it very easily locks into place. Now we're gonna connect the left light bar and now we're connecting the right light bar. So it's not perfectly cable managed yet because I'm still gonna be messing with this, but you guys could obviously hide these cables or tape this straight to the back of your monitor as well with these little buttons on how the actual lighting strip works. They do give you a bunch of zip ties and um, these like cable management tools. So they do give you everything that you guys really need to make this look very clean. But now I'm gonna plug both these USBs in because it does take two, one for power and then one for the actual software to actually work with the light strip. So I'll get back to you guys once we get downloading the software and then we'll give it a final test. All right guys, so this is their website. If you guys are doing Windows like me, you're gonna click this. If you guys are using Mac, you're just gonna click on the other side. We're just gonna download this file real fast and then we're gonna set it up and it's gonna give us a bunch of different options that we could use with this lighting kit. All right, so now we're just gonna click on the program that we just downloaded. We're gonna click Run Anyways, Next, and then we're just gonna install it straight onto our normal hard drive for this PC. All right, so the program's already been installed, so we're just gonna click Close. So now I'm just gonna run the program that operates all of these lights and it'll help synchronize the background of this display with the lights. All right, so as soon as I downloaded this app, you guys could see the lights actually change. 
So you guys have a brightness bar right here on the app. You guys also get some music interactive modes. So you guys have a bunch of different modes right here for music. Right now I have some music playing in the background. You guys could do a bunch of different settings. Some are crazier than others. As you can see this one, the lights going up and down those bars and all around the back of the monitor. This is the spectrum mode. And you guys could even hook this up to actually run with your mic. So as I talk, this is actually moving. And when I'm quiet, it stays still. Or you guys could hook this up to your desktop audio. So as the music goes, it will slightly change. There's also this keyboard option. So while I type over here, it will move. A few typos there, but you guys should get the point. And then you guys have some recommended modes just with a bunch of different settings. So this is flowing light. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this light off over here just so we could see this even better. This is whirlwind, passionate forest. This is moon, starry sky, rolling ball, colorful flowing, which might be one of your favorites. All right guys, so this is my favorite mode for the lights. Basically what is happening right now is as the screen changes, the lights on the side and behind the monitor adapt to whatever your monitor is displaying. So as the colors change here, so do the actual RGBs. As you can see, it's kind of lighter right now and it will continue to change throughout this video to match whatever your monitor is showing. So I cut to a warm light section right here with some more pinks and you guys could see all the RGBs changing as the video goes and this is super neat. So anyways guys, this is the Basin Adaptive Lighting Kit. It is very easy to hook up all you guys need are a few USBs on the back of your computer, maybe just 10 minutes of time and you guys are ready to go. If you guys have two monitors, I would just attach this to your main monitor and keep these behind both of them. And I think that'll still look great. So anyways, that's about it for this review. I think it's very easy to set up and I really love the results. I think it adds so much more to this gaming setup.